Hi, my name is Luis Martinez, and welcome back to another episode of The Real Roundup. Today, we're going to be at Lovell's Record Shop in Whittier, and we're going to find out how they manage to stay in business with, the, with all this big competition. Well, for this business, I think the, um, the way that we're able to compete against bigger markets and, and kind of uh, and just competitors in general like Target or even online sales and online stores is first, the store has been here for a long time. So this store is unique in a sense that it's one of the oldest establishments that sells what we sell. You know, we're very, we cater to a specific clientele compared to like a Target or a Best Buy who is pretty much caters to everybody. Um, but what we try to do is in this store, we try to cater to specific musical tastes and trends. So, you know, we sell a little bit of everything, but we mainly focus on more indie, indie rock, hip hop compared to like a Target or a big name brand store, which will kind of cater to whatever the top 10 hits are. Um, so sure, you know, they're making money off of that end, but I think stores like that actually don't make their money off of records in terms of like competitions. So even though there are larger companies trying to do the same thing that Lovells is doing, their amazing customer service with the amount of time they spend in the community is gonna help them out. With uh, El Paisano Media, I'm Luis Martinez. Thank you for watching today.